What is up, everybody? How are we doing, folks? How are we doing? <clears throat> All right, so right now we've got, what do we've got? <clears throat> One, two, three breaks sold out. So we will start at 7.30. First up will be the stature. Next will be the mix and the platinum. Uh, then the premiere and then whatever else fills in that order. So that'll be the first of the bunch. <coughs> so it will be a fun filled evening. All right, and now obviously, uh, as more and more people filter in, we'll help us out. So hopefully everyone's ready for a fun evening. <clears throat> I am ready to open up some stuff. Now, I apologize in advance, guys. My, uh, my voice is somewhat going. I was, uh, I was playing some games. I ended up losing my voice. So if my voice goes throughout the night, <clears throat> now you know why. I'm going to try to drink lots of water, but it doesn't do much. Not too much. So, and of course, tonight we got a lot of longer breaks. That always, you know, that helps that. <clears throat> Igor, how you doing, sir? How are you doing? As it's Friday night, it always takes a bit to get uh, everyone coming in the room. It's a beautiful day outside. At least here it is. So I am excited. And as I said, we got three breaks, ready to rock and roll right away. So we'll get those three done and then move on to the other ones as soon as we possibly can. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> but I do hope everyone's having a good uh, good Friday so far. Hopefully. So kicking off with stature first. So everyone knows what we're doing. Stature will be number one. And then we'll move on to the mix break. And then the platinum. And then obviously whatever fills after that. Well, we got a lot of things to go. It will be exciting. What's up, Matt? How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, other than uh, me lose my voice a bit, I've been do I'm doing phenomenal to be honest. But that uh, that I'm excited to do some cards tonight. I am excited. Happy Friday. It is a good Friday. It's a beautiful day outside. Nice and warm. I'm feeling like tonight will be a nice, uh, I won't say quick night, but like the brakes are all moving nicely. So I think everything will go nice and smooth today. We have five left in Artifacts, two left in Premier. The two Chancers are up there. We have a lot of different things here. So as I said, my voice will most likely cut in and out today. <clears throat> so I'm giving you guys a heads up on that aspect. So it'll be a very fun game to see how long the voice actually stays. Uh, well, Conrad, I'm sure is supposed to be. I feel like COVID uh, kind of nailed a lot of things to be delayed or switched up or whatever you want to call it. Doesn't change the situation. Everything is going to as I said, with COVID and especially this hobby, don't count on anything happening when it's supposed to happen. If it does, then that means Upper Deck did a phenomenal job on getting things out on the right times. Right now, honestly, who knows what's going to happen going forward. So, as a, let's be happy with the products that we have out right now that have done well. And we will move on. How many stature boxes are left to buy? What I don't know what that means.
Like, how many Thatcher boxes do we have left? Well, you know I'm never going to let you know how many we have left. Stores don't answer those questions. <laughs> We have enough for the break tonight. Let me put it that way. How does that sound? Uh, ultimate, I think, yeah, it's going to be a bit later for sure. <clears throat> yeah, right now the next product, big product, is scheduled for mid-August. Yeah, I was out for uh, an hour or two, so that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, sir. I'm very mysterious that way, blue shirts. Very mysterious. So in about two minutes, <clears throat> two minutes, folks, we're gonna. Start off the stature break, 11,932. Again, just a heads up, my voice will be going in and out today. I lost my voice last night. So I am 100% guaranteeing you guys that it most definitely will go. Blue shirts, I saw the Igor uh, jersey numbers up on eBay. The true rookie auto jersey number. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. Well, as I said, this is not always going to be a full value type of thing, right, Blue Shirts? There's many things in life you buy and you don't even get close to half the value back. That is the potential fun of it and the not so much fun of it. It happens. Uh, we got one minute, Bryson. Uno momentos. 7.30, we'll hit. And Blue Shirts, did you hear what I said that uh, the jersey number of Shesterkin's up on eBay? Don't know if you saw that or not. You're going to make a run at that one or not really? Because that could be a massive long-term card down the road. That could be a massive card. What's up, Mr. Blitz? How you doing, sir? <clears throat> All right, so 11,932. Here she goes, Statue. 
Oh, I'm good other than my voice. Other than my voice is going to go out probably 20 times tonight. Here we go. Starting off season break number 11,932. We've got the six box stature break. Team select break that is. All right. We start off for the Calgary Flames. Jerome McGinley. Jerome McGinley base. Anaheim Ducks. Ricard Raquel. Ricard Raquel. We got a rookie to 3 to 9 of Stud Nika. For the Boston Bruins. Right. Green to 149 of Ryan O'Reilly. Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. We got our red for the Dallas Stars, Joe Pavelski. We've got for the Blue Jackets the 1 to 9 rookie auto, Elvis Mers Lickens. Rookie Auto, Elvis Mers Lickens. We've got number 20, Rudolph Balsers, Portrait Rookie Red for the Auto Senators. Rookie Reliance of Volkov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And a Century Momentus of Goretzky for the Oilers. Why isn't Blitz? I don't actually know, know why he's not a mod on this. Maybe a different email account? Oh, well, I can I can change that sub, Blitz. <coughs> Here we go, Dallas Stars, Mike Madonna. Vegas Golden Knights, William Carlson. For the Red Wings, the 399, Ryan Kuffner. Base, Ryan Kuffner. For the Buffalo Sabres, the 149, Victor Olofsson, green rookie. 149, green rookie. We got for the Winnipeg Jets, number to 45, Blake Wheeler, esteemed red base. For the San Jose Sharks, rookie reliance auto, Mario Ferraro. Rookie reliance auto, Mario Ferraro. We've got number 35, red autograph for the Sharks, Joe Thornton. Number 35, Joe Thornton. That's sick. And we've got a Ryan O'Reilly esteemed for the Blues. Well, that's two boxes in a row that are pretty sweet. <clears throat> for the Tampa Bay Lightning, we got a Stamkos. Base. For the Philadelphia Flyers, Claude Giroux. For the Florida Panthers, the 3 9 Sorella. Sorella, the 3 9 We got number 99, Reliance Emerald of Victor Olofsson. 99, Victor Olofsson. We've got a 75 red rookie, Rudolph Balsers. 75, Rudolph Balsers. We've got number to 15, Blue Rookie Auto for the Stars, Joel Lasperance. Out of 15, Joel Lasperance. We've got a Capitals, number 85, Alex Ovechkin. Wow, Blitz. Wow. For the LA Kings, Grunstrom, Rookie Reliance, and a Rookie Reliance of Adam Fox for the Rangers.
Why do I think it is? Because it's hard signed, it's very limited, and it's jersey numbered. You got to think, I know it has no patch auto, but this is way more limited than Cup. Right? Cup will be at 249. So, Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Just a troll of me. For the Devils, Nico he's here. For the Chicago Blackhawks, 39, Dennis Gilbert. Chicago Blackhawks. For the Oilers, 149, Gaten Haas. Gaten Haas. For the Avalanche, to 99, Century Momentous, Ray Bork. Ray Bork. Number to 75, Wierenski Red. Base for the Blue Jackets. And we've got number to 85, Green Rookie Auto, Nico Sturm. Uh, if you have the Dallas Stars, yeah, any Dallas card, yours. Nico Sturm. And we've got a century of Marty Broder for the Devils. For the Hawks, Glenn Hall. For the Penguins, Jake Gensel. For the Montreal Canadiens, Ryan Paling, the 399. Ryan Paling. For the Devils, the 149, Nico Heischer. Green base, Nico Heischer. Number the 20. Rookie red of Jimmy Scholl for the Vegas Golden Knights. Jimmy Scholl. We got for the Philadelphia Flyers a 199 Joel Farabee. Joel Farabee. We've got a red rookie to 75 for the Leafs. Rasmus Sandin. Red rookie to 75 for the Leafs. And we got a century for the Penguins, Yarmer Yager. And finally, last but not least. Makes us hope so. Who we've got for the Rangers, Lungfist base. For the Calgary Flames, Matthew Kachuk. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Julian Gauthier. Julian Gauthier. For the Maple Leafs to 149, Rasmus Sandin, green rookie. Sandin to 149. For the Oilers to 75, Joel Parson. Red rookie. We've got for the Red Wings, green rookie auto to 65, Ryan Kuffner. Out of, eight, sorry, 85, my apologies. Out of 85, Ryan Kuffner. We've got a reliance of Gusev for the Devils and an esteemed of Giroux for the Flyers. You know, that's a shame that they have his auto rates for sure, but so that wasn't too bad. Thord was nice, a couple uh color rookie autos, which is nice. The Elvis rookie auto. All right.
You think so, blue shirts? Non-biasedly, of course, right? There's nothing that you say on on uh, Rangers is biased ever. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, give me one second. I'm going to get the randoms ready for the all 16 17 mix. Do I like President Trump? Honestly, I, I could, I don't get into politics like that kind of stuff. Hey, I'm from Canada, so it doesn't really do much to me. I, I find some of the stuff he does comical. But it is what it is, right? All right, give me one second. I'm just going to get the next, uh, next break going. All right, nine three one. Yeah, I was gonna say I've always learned dinner conversation, religion, politics, never have. Just it's better not to have it. Here we go, eleven thousand nine thirty one. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Sorry, 931 is the group break. Three times, obviously. Copy. Paste. Smooth K's got the Islanders. Ronnie, Philadelphia. Cal's P's got Vancouver. Violin, Toronto. DG's got St. Louis. Doug's got LA. Hope P's got Carolina. Doug's got Montreal. Ground has Ed Money. Richmond, Chicago. Hope P's got Arizona. Jay's got Buffalo. Keith has Pittsburgh. Deep Holt in Detroit. Black's got Ottawa, Deep Holt in Washington, Keith has Dallas, Bobo's got Tampa Bay, JB's has Nashville, Broussard's got Columbus, Hopi's got Florida, Bo Sox, Calgary, Violin's got New Jersey, Jay San Jose, Smooth's got Anaheim, Elbow's Colorado, D Myers Rangers, Calpe's got Boston, IBJ Minnesota, Hopi's got Winnipeg. Yeah, I heard about that on the uh on the news today about the flooding. That's crazy. I don't know if you also heard about this on the news. CNC was on fan 590 today. I'll point that out. Go us. <clears throat> no one cares. Hey, I was pretty happy, Blitz. I was happy with it. We had a whole segment for us. It was awesome. It's not the first big sport to open. It's the second big sport to open. And number two. Big sport to open. Two minutes left, folks. Two minutes left. UFC. 
<clears throat> UFC has been hosting cards for months. They've been pulling in some crazy big numbers. UFC is in the sport. I don't know. The last fight card, John, 1.3 million viewers for pay-per-views. It is massive. So, yes, it is a sport. <laughs> I know Blitz you don't like it I understand you know you're definitely you know among the manliest men out there I can understand why you don't like it <clears throat> yeah, it's a first. Uh, are they going to be the first one? Are they going to be baseball, though? I might be wrong on that. I, I, I thought baseball was first. <laughs> well, you know what, Blitz? The good news is there's something called opinions that people are allowed to have. You know, some people just don't like UFC. Some people do. It's okay, Blitz. You know, one day when you're here, we'll watch tennis together. What time do you leave tomorrow? Uh, no. Oh. All right, folks. So here we go. I'm going to start that. I got to move these over again. Got to get at those bad boys. Oh, the manly sport of golf blitz. Yeah, that's that's definitely up there. <laughs> no, I like golf, so no teasing on that. <clears throat> Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,931. We've got the all 1617. Yeah, I used to, uh, I don't know why this thing was double wrapped. That's kind of cool. I used to do training, John. So I'm, uh, I'm, to me, I'm big into that kind of stuff. So I enjoy it. I enjoy the competitiveness of it. But obviously, that's, that's my opinion on it. So. Base. We got a young gun to be ran between the Leafs and the Jets of Line A and Marner. <laughs> well, Blitz, I don't know about you. I don't fight children back. So what you do in your time, man, I'm cool with that. I support you. Young Guns of Justin Bailey for the Buffalo Sabres. Shining Stars of Simmons for the Flyers. Young Guns, Braden Point. Tampa Bay Lightning. Base. <clears throat> It was probably, though, Blitz, and no word of a lie, probably the best exercise I've ever had in my life. Daniel Sedin for the Vancouver Canucks, Canvas. Portraits of Zaka for the Devils. It was crazy. Noel Chari Young Guns for the Boston Bruins.
Canvas of Borchek for the Philadelphia Flyers. Portrait of Fabry for the Blues. The Prime is haunting you, eh? Just staring at your soul. I hear you, man. It happens to me a lot. Blitz, if you ever want to see how out of shape you can be, which is what I, I find funny. I remember the first time I was doing it. Is hit a punching bag for two minutes. And watch how, how weak your arms become after like 40 seconds. It is hilarious. We've got a young gun, the Barzol for the Islanders. Portrait of York Strand for the Blue Jackets. Marky Rookie Rainbow of Point for the Tampa Bay Lightning. <laughs> Retro of Stetcher for the Vancouver Canucks. That's funny. I like that. Marky Rookie of Paul URV for the Oilers. Canvas of Namesnikov for the Tampa Lightning. Turning off your alarm of gas, eh? Charlie Lindgren for the Montreal Canadiens Young Guns. Portraits Rookies of Stetcher for the Canucks. Marky Rookie of Aho for the Carolina Hurricanes. <clears throat> Lebes. We've got another random Lion A and Marner. So one person will get the canvas, one will get the regular Young Guns. Young Guns Canvas, Josh Morrissey for the Winnipeg Jets. Blitz, your birthday's coming up. Marky Rookie of Kevin LeBong for the Sharks. We got a canvas of Ricard Raquel for the Anaheim Ducks. Retro of Baptiste for the Buffalo Sabres. Portraits Rookies of Bailey for the Buffalo Sabres. Sorry, Blitz, that would never happen. Tyler Bertuzzi, Young Guns for the Red Wings. Taylor Hall, OPG for the Devils. Brandon Montour, Young Guns for the Ducks. Though, if you want to tell Sam, she's more than welcome to come to my birthday party. Matt Duchesne, Canvas for the Avalanche. I'm sure she would miss yours for mine. Braden Point, Retro Rookie, Tampa Bay Lightning. Portraits Rookie, the Lekkonen for the Habs. Jason Dickinson, Young Guns for the Stars. Marky, rookie for the Jets, Kyle Connor. Yeah, Blitz, you know what's sad? I legit was going to like plan a massive get together with a whole bunch of people here to celebrate your birthday, but sadly, COVID kind of. Threw a wrench into that one, buddy. So, sorry. Like, it's crazy. I had I had players coming. I had everything. But sadly, it didn't work. 9.99 Anaheim Ducks. Nick Sorensen. We've got a quad frozen foursomes. I'm hitting this, these two guys all the time now. Between the Leafs, the Rangers, the Jets, and the Oilers, Pooley, RV, Line, VC, and Marner. Quad jersey. I know, Blitz. This, this year hasn't been lucky for you. 
$12.99 of bashing for the Buffalo Sabres. We've got a fresh thread jersey of Connect Me for the Flyers. Need a rider for the Minnesota Wild, Sub Zero. Sub Zero rookie of Sergachev for the Habs. And we've got for the Penguins to two ninety nine Oscar Sunkist. Two ninety nine. Yeah, Blitz. It's so many things. As I wish, like literally, I had I had people. I had Marner coming over. It was crazy, but sadly. We've got a hollow shield, Brad Burns, San Jose Sharks. Marner can't afford Marner. I wonder if Marner's dad bills Marner for his time. For the Blue Jackets, the 255 or 235, Sonny Milano. Rookie jersey. Sonny Milano. That's a good one. Number to 165. Rookie Auto. Braden Point. 165. Braden Point. I think probably do that, yeah. And, wow. We've got another Hollow Shield rookie auto, Christian Dvorak for the Coyotes. Blue shirts is going to happen many more times tonight. It's only going to get worse. I'm trying not to go too crazy right now. <clears throat> that was a healthy box of SPX. When I made Luda, yeah, I was playing games and got very aggressive. <laughs> Hopefully not the runner. No, no, no. Definitely not that. Carolina Hurricanes, all Schuler rookie to nine ninety nine. We've got a signature pucks. Roman Yossi. Roman Yossi signature pucks. That is sick. We've got a triptychs patch number to 49. Evgeny Kuznetsov. <laughs> No, probably not. Evgeny Kuznetsov. I'm not that good. We've got a rookie of Buchnevich for the Rangers. The other thing you guys don't realize is doing this, you lose your voice quite a bit, and stature killed my voice. Tarasenko for the Blues. Like, legit stature murdered my voice. So it's that accompanied with a few other things. Klingberg for the Dallas Stars. Rainbow. It's packed with like butter, man. We've got a rookie to $9.99. Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner. And we've got for the Winnipeg Jets the 440 Blake Wheeler jersey. <laughs> Blitz, as I've always said, I appreciate you at least you're picturing me, so thank you. Just on your mind, buddy. Just can't let it go. Well, we've got for the Habs, a 299 Shea Weber. 299. 
For the Calgary Flames, the 299, Matthew Kachuk. It's a good rookie auto. Matthew Kachuk. Hugs are allowed now. They say that officially. We've got an Obsidian Signatures patch auto to 25, Ivan Probro. Obsidian Signatures to 25, Ivan Provorov. It's pretty sick. We've got for the Maple Leafs Pro Pemmon Chipotle, Freddie Anderson. And we've got a Zetterberg Star Trademarks for the Red Wings. As I said, if you guys ever want to know what it's like, literally grab a 3,200 count. Read off every single card and about every, like, 15th card. Raise your voice out of excitement. And tell me how your voice feels the next day. We've got for the Winnipeg Jets 99, Josh Morrissey. Dual rookie patch, exquisite. Josh Morrissey. For the Islanders, 249, John Tavares. For the Maple Leafs, Team Logo Jumbos, William Nylander. Team Logo Jumbos, Willie. We've got a silver on black rookie signatures to 125. Matthew Barzal. <laughs> it's a very tiny one, though, John, isn't it? Silver on black rookie signatures. Matthew Barzal. We've got a diamond rookie to 99 for the Devils. Miles Wood. 99 diamond. At least we got a diamond out of this. And a rookie to 3 to 9, Ivan Provorov. So, yeah, I assure you guys, it is nothing more than stature and doing some exciting yelling on game stuff. So, <clears throat> also, fun fact I think half our staff's already been tested for Corona. Just for the safety of our. Uh, our staff and the safety of our customers. So thank you very much. And I had the test. Not the fun, most fun in the world. But not as bad as I thought it would be, honestly. Somehow I missed a garbage from here. We've got a Dallas Stars 3-9, Jamie Benn. For the Vancouver Canucks, 1-9, Trevor Linden. Trevor Linden. We've got a three-color rookie patch auto 299 for the Coyotes, Christian Dvorak. Christian Dvorak to 299, three-color rookie patch auto. For the Vancouver Canucks, to 99, Ryan Kessler. Award winners. The next card is going to be filthy. For the Chicago Blackhawks, the voice is going to completely crumble on this one. Numbered 7 of 23, Mega Patch, Jonathan Hayes. I feel like that's part of the face, isn't it? That's the face and the nose. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the eye and the nose, isn't it? For the Flyers, connect me, rookie jersey. And we got for the Coyotes, 199, Max Domi. There we go. Wow. That is sexy. Well, we got the diamond out of black diamond. We got a mega patch out of Premier. I think we got the memorabilia out of ice because I remember the quads were cases, which I'd never really agreed with, but still was. 
So give me a few seconds, folks. I got some random to do. Yep, uh, that is a big card. <laughs> that is a very big card. Instagram. Anyone in the room get Chicago, by the way? All right, so good luck. Here she goes. Here we go, 11,931, everything three times. First up, the Leafs, Jets. Whoever lands on top uh, will get the canvas version, and then the other one, uh, other team will get the young gun version three times. One, two, three. So canvas goes to the Jets. The Leafs get the regular one. The quad jersey, one, two, three. Three, the Rangers. There we go. <clears throat> You'll take ownership. Done. Oh, you got the silver. Nice. That's nice to hear. Oh, Dan had enough of the music. Yeah, I like it on. Well, how about you ask before you just do it, Dan? So rude. This Dan guy, everyone. All right, I'm just uh, doing some emails, folks. So anyway, the guy talking to Bills. Okay, Blitz. Okay, relax. All right, premiere time now, folks. Nine to nine. I said, I feel like we're going to uh, we're going to have a very quick, fun night, which has been great. Well, I don't think we have to have masks on blue shirts, so you know. And also, legally, you can't ask people to wear masks if they have a medical condition. There's always rules. Always rules you got to follow. Here we go, 11,929. Three times, one, two, and three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Tiger's got L.A., Doug's got Ed Money, Violin's got Philly, Rod's got Toronto, Doug's got Ottawa, Keith Winnipeg, Jay Chicago, Rod's got Tampa, San Jose, Violin, St. Louis, Doug's got Boston, Jay's Buffalo, Keith has Islanders, Doug, Detroit, Violin, Dallas, 
Rod's got Minnesota. Doug's got Arizona. Tiger's got Calgary. Rod Nashville, the Polton Florida. Doug's got Washington. Rod Columbus, Violin Vancouver. Jay's got Montreal, Colorado. Polton's got Rangers. Elbows Pittsburgh. Rod's got Anaheim, Carolina. Elbows New Jersey. Still blows my mind if you want to have a fun conversation. How many people, especially in the U.S., they look at the mask thing as like a massive insult to them. And it honestly does surprise me. It really does. And, and I'm not going to sit there and say like, again, I don't want this to be a, you know, U.S. people are stupid. Or if you say that, honestly, guys, I will probably ban you. Because that is unacceptable. It just blows my mind why people get so upset with that, thinking that, like, it takes away things. Like, if you have a medical condition, I completely understand. But, it, like, you're doing it for the safety of other people. I always just find it funny because, like, obviously... On the internet, I see it all the time of like people like getting into fights because they, you know, they don't want to wear a mask. It's like, oh my gosh, like you're that, you're that into it where you have to be that mad at somebody. I, I, I never understood that. Yeah, but you know what, blue shirts. Here's the thing: like we set up our store. Obviously, for those that've been in it, we've set up our store that most most times you're going to stand at least six feet away from us, with the counter and the table in our way, deliberately, obviously. You're not going to be that close to us no matter what. So even if you didn't wear a mask, I'm pretty comfortable with it. It blows my mind, though, some of the videos I've seen where, like, a store owner would have a sign in the front saying, masks are required. person would walk in there saying, like, I don't want to do it. And then they start fighting with the store owner. And you're going, you're walking into their store. It's their store. They are allowed to set, you know, rules why do you like if you have the freedom not to wear a mask, they have the freedom to tell you to get out? As I said, Rich, like to give you perspective, I know it's small numbers and it's obviously only testing numbers, it doesn't obviously mean everything. But like on uh Kitchener Waterloo Cambridge, which is probably you know un under a million people, but it's it's well over I think 600,000 or around 600,000. We have right now, there's like 46 active cases. That's it. <clears throat> 800,000 people, yeah. Now, and again, just to be clear, like we're only doing, I think it's something like 800 to 1,000 tests a day. So it's not exactly like we're testing every single person here, but... We're, we're down to about 45 active cases in Kitchener-Waterloo now. It's, it's pretty crazy. And again, everyone's pretty respectful. Everyone who comes in, I'll say about 90% of people wear a mask in our store. Uh, John, it's the same thing. I, and I, I don't want to say it's a U.S. problem. I think it's everywhere. I, I think a lot of people think that I can walk into any business and say and do what I want. The business owner, it's their property. They can tell you to get out if they choose to. But, like, just some of the headlines, like, that I read, it, it, it blows my mind. Like, apparently one person in Florida pulled a gun on someone because they asked him to wear a mask. I was like, what is going on? I think that's a little excessive in my opinion. You're that strong that you don't want to wear a mask. I understand that. And by the way, while we're talking about some fun stuff, here's some breaks. Yeah. It, it's crazy. Well, as I said, what blows my mind even more is that they, like the numbers are there. They can see the numbers. Why are they not listening to them? I understand there's a conspiracy people who think it's just a hoax, which is fine. I at least I res I respect that their reasoning is that the numbers are a lie. I'm talking about the people that 
don't think it's a lie, but they just don't want to wear a mask because they don't care. I just don't understand that. So we, we have to all help each other in this one. This is not an individual. Well, again, Blitz, it's on testing, to be fair. U.S. is doing a boatload of testing way more than we are. If you actually break down the numbers, John, uh, Blitz, to give you an honest perspective, and this, this will kind of open your eyes up, there's 48 active cases right now, but on a realistic number of every single person in Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge got tested, it'd be about 3,400 cases. To give you an idea. That's what the actual true number would be based on the numbers that we currently have. So, a little bigger, isn't it? Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,929. We've got the two box premiere. Uh, they are packed, list, but the numbers come out. Like I said, my wife works basically for the region. Like, you're only getting about 700 tests a day. That's very little, like very little in comparison to how many people. Nashville Predators, Rome, and Yossi. 399. For the Calgary Flames, the 199, Matthew Kachuk. 199 for the Flames. For the Montreal Canadiens, 299, rookie patch auto of Sergachev. Rookie patch auto. Sergachev. For the Minnesota Wild, a 399, Mike Riley. Rookie auto, Mike Riley. For the Boston Bruins, signature booklet, Ryan Spooner. Ryan Spooner. We've got number the 99. It's good that they put the better player on top. Dual jersey for the Leafs, Matthews and Marner. Dual jersey for the Maple Leafs, the 99, Matthews, Marner. And for the Rangers, Butch Nevich. Yep, anything rookie year, Matthews Marner. I am always happy to open those. He never did the deal. It was probably the same guy that gave you a crazy deal on the Marner Cup rookie. 399 Kopitar. He probably was left stranded with no money after that deal. That's probably why. For the Boston Bruins, David Backus. 399, David Backus. For the Buffalo Sabres, a 299, Nick Baptiste. That's a sick patch. Number to 25, gold rookie patch auto for the Islanders, Ryan Pulak. Number to 25, Ryan Pulak. We've got a dual jersey of Domi Larson for the Coyotes. We've got for the Islanders, Mega Patch number to 23, Brock Nelson. Mega Patch, Brock Nelson, the 23. And we've got for the Capitals, Verena. Here we go. You know what's funny, though, Blitz, in all honesty? I honestly do feel if the Leafs even win one series, and I mean the first one, I feel like people will go not crazy crazy, but I think their values will spike quite a bit. I think there will be so much hype for hockey. So any teams, obviously, not just Toronto. But I do feel if Toronto does win a series, per se, people are going to start, 
you know, oh, they're going to win the cup. They're on their way. It's going to go crazy. And it'll be funny to watch. I think Toronto makes it to round, I don't know what you want to call it technically this year, three, which technically would be round two. I think they get – like, I think they'll beat Columbus. I honestly do. And I think they'll win the next series, but I think they'll lose the next one after that. If the Leafs went to the finals, the hobby would be very happy. Even if you're a Leaf fan or not, that is a uh, – that'll be – that'll be amazing for the hobby. All right, 9.28 now. We're going to do the Platinum. Get the random ready for that. Can you, the hobby would honestly explode. Uh, it's, it's one of those things, like, as I've said, and I've said it all along, at the end of the day, all I really care about, first and foremost, is that the hobby is happy and healthy. Obviously, as a Leaf fan, I want the Leafs to go to the finals. But you know how much cards would sell if McDavid or Matthews ever won the cup or came close to the cup? It, it would be it would be basketball level craziness with people. And I'm not even exaggerating. If McDavid gets to the cup or comes close to the cup, I legit think his cup rookie is a fifty thousand dollar card easy, like US easy. And I would not be surprised if it starts getting to the 60 to 70 range because of that. If he wins the cup, whew, that would be a different animal. I, I would be curious, though, Rich, how high would Matthews Cup rookie if he won the cup? I think it's sit, sitting at around 6,000 US right now. I would love to know, like, Again, is that a 10,000, 15, 20, 25? I personally find it hard to believe it passes 15, but who the hell knows, right? That's a beautiful thing. Here we go. Starting off, seems to break 11,928. Three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Super Dave's got Florida. Dr. Fire's got Calgary Islanders. Tyler's got Anaheim. Russell Columbus. Cliff's got Montreal. Tyler's got Tampa. Dr. Fire Detroit. Russell Vancouver. Super Dave Philly. Spencer Boston. Broussard Colorado. Bleed's got Minnesota. Tiger's got Pittsburgh. Dr. Fire Dallas. Happy's got L.A. and Toronto. Broussard, San Jose. Russell's got New Jersey. Ed Money. 416 St. Louis. Spencer's got Washington. Tiger got Nashville. Russell, Carolina. Cliff's got Chicago. Latursky, Buffalo. Bleed's got Arizona. Russell, Ottawa. Latursky, Rangers. 416 Winnipeg. Yeah, McDavid, McDavid would be the Zion type. I just don't know where Matthews would settle. And Rich, I think what he means by Zion is that like he's got that he will break the record of sales type thing. I don't think he means dollar value to dollar value. Because I agree with that. I, I think Matt like I think McDavid would be sixty, seventy thousand and the next best would be ten, right? Like that's Zion. You know what, Blitz? I don't know why. It might be because of the Canadian factor versus U.S. I just don't see – and, again, maybe I'm wrong. I just don't see him passing $35,000. But, again, I very well could be wrong. I will tell you, though, it would be amazing to watch the progression of people getting crazier and crazier on values. If McDavid or Matthews, for example – 
You know, they win one series, then the next one, then the next one. It would be amazing to watch how high cards start going and what people start asking for. And as I said, it's just good for the sport at the end of the day. Like, don't get me wrong. Matthews will hit very, very high numbers. Naturally. I just don't think he'll ever get near McDavid. And the main honest reason why I just think McDavid's career will go down as one of the best ever, I don't know if Matthews will. And that's just me being honest. Like, Matthews might go down as one of the best goal scorers. I could see Matthews being a top 20 goal scorer in history. But McDavid, you could argue, might be a top five to ten player in history by the time his career is done, which that alone is special. And also being honest, even let's just put like numbers and numbers. Matthews is all like probably always going to score more than McDavid. Matthews is nowhere near the production of what McDavid does. Nowhere near. Blue shirts, I'm not saying it rudely. I don't think that's a very tough feat for him. I, I feel like he's. He's got a lot of 50-goal seasons coming. He's definitely going to make his case for it, for sure. There's not really anything stopping that. The only thing that honestly might hurt Matthew's career is if he does move away from Toronto. That's the only thing I actually think that could hurt his career. Not that he would care. But that's what I do think could... Hinder. 60s going to be tough. But I do agree 50s. I think he may hit a 60 once in his career. And plenty. I don't know. How many How many does Ovi have in his career? I don't know if plenty is the right word. I would guess what Ovi's got four. If I had to guess. Actually, if someone doesn't mind looking that up. I'm curious what Ovi's got. All right, nine, two, eight. Let me just write this down, folks. My guess is four. It might be completely off. I honestly did not put anything uh, thought to it. Oh, he's definitely not a one-man show. I agree. Mind you, I don't – other than uh, Nylander, I don't think Matthews has ever had a like, – he didn't play with Marner too often too. Stamper was the last 60-goal player? Wow. Was he? I thought Obi was. If he was, holy hell. I didn't, that's kind of crazy. Here we go. Starting off season break, 11,928. We've got the Platinum two-box break. Obi has one. That's it? Wow. Well, that's my shocker of the day. I definitely thought we had more than one. We got a retro or a rookie rainbow of cop for the Winnipeg Jets. Plentiful for the Ottawa Senators. We got a retro of Larson for the Coyotes. Gone for the Vancouver Canucks. You beat me. We both went over, so we both lose. McGinn, Marky, rookie for the Carolina Hurricanes. Is that how Price is Right works? We've got a red prism rookie for the Caps of Stanislav Galiev. Galiev. Wow, I did not know that about him. That's, uh, that's crazy. Daniel Sprong for the Penguins, Marky, rookie. And an Esposito to 149 gold rainbow retro. 
Cold Rainbow Retro. Ooh, we've got an Olafson for the Minnesota Wild and a rookie auto of Gold Dobin for the Sharks. Gold Dobin. So, Rich, how many 50s did he have then? Retro of Eisman for the Red Wings. Poirier for the Calgary Flames. Team logo of Rene for the Preds. Hunter Shinketa for the Vancouver Canucks. Retro Giroux for the Flyers. McCann, McCann, sorry, for the Vancouver Canucks. 60, 50 plus, okay. Or six, sorry. Rainbow Parise for the Wild. Richie for the Anaheim Ducks. Retro of Naslin for the Vancouver Canucks. Seven. We is that a rainbow? Yeah. Rainbow of Wheeler for the Jets. Fiala for the Preds. Retro of Subban for the Habs. Shane Prince for the Sens. We got a rainbow of Stamp Ghost for the Tampa Bay Lightning. What's up, Mr. Golden? How you doing, sir? Retro of Orr for the Boston Bruins. Larkin for the Red Wings. Retro Rainbow of Anderson for the Oilers. Tracks of Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins. Adam Palish, Marky, Ricky for the Islanders. Where do you guys think Matthews will honestly finish in goal scoring history? Ryan O'Reilly tracks for the Sabres. Ben Hutton for the Vancouver Canucks. Team logos of Miller for the Canucks. Eichel for the Sabres. Do you think you'll ever get top 10? Team logos of Dubnik for the Wild. Top 50? Well, he'll definitely be top 50. That would be a shocker if he's not, to be honest. I think top 10 is uh, a potential reality, in my opinion. Who's number 10? How many goals is that? How many goals is top 10? Retro Felino for the Jackets. Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. We, that's base. Retro Rainbow Rookie of Cuckoo for the Tampa Bay Lightning. 692. Okay. Rainbow Rookie of Olmark for the Buffalo Sabres. Adam Fetish for the Islanders. Marcy Rookie. Retro Rookie of Vertanen for the Canucks. Ben Hutton for the Canucks. Retro Rookie of Bennett for the Calgary Flames. Why do you say that, Rich? Retro Rookie of Goldobin for the Sharks. Richie for the Anaheim Ducks. Retro of Anderson for the Oilers. Hunter Shinketa for the Vancouver Canucks. We've got a Fiala Marky Rookie for the Preds. And a Bobby Hull to 49. Red Retro for the Chicago Blackhawks. Like, what's he at now? 250? Roughly. Retro of Anderson for the Blue Jackets. We've got a Fuempo Marky rookie for the Sens and a Everly to 75 for the Oilers. I honestly think top 10 is very realistic with his pace. We got a Rainbow of Carlson for the Caps and a Bennett for the Calgary Flames. We got a White Ice rookie, Robbie Fabry to 199. Robbie Fabry to 199. Tracks of Kopitar for the Kings. Andrew Kopp, Marky Rookie for the Winnipeg Jets. We got a Poirier for the Calgary Flames, Marky Rookie. And a Poirier Red Prism Rookie Auto for the Calgary Flames, number to 75. Number to 75. 
Team logos of Ennis for the Buffalo Sabres. Gold, Dove, and Marky, Ricky for the Sharks. Team logos of Kopitar for the LA Kings. Condon for the Habs. Sorry, I'm saying 150. I think that 150. Rainbow of Bacchus for the Blues. Taylor Lear for the Philadelphia Flyers. Rainbow of Price for the Habs. Fabry for the Blues. Rainbow of Schwartz for the Blues. And we got a trophy talent of Patrick Waugh for the Montreal Canadiens. There we go, folks. Looks like to get a color rookie auto. Those are always nice. Yeah, you know what? As I said, it's going to be interesting. Because I feel like... Sorry, I'm just going to see roughly what he's at right now. So right now in his career, he's at 158 goals. 158. Let's divide that by four to be fair. So it's 40 goals a year. If he plays... Sixteen seasons, yeah. <clears throat> It'll be interesting either way where he lands. Um, Leafs, obviously I, I agree and disagree with that because I was, in the first year, the amount of conversations I have with people explaining that Matthews, in my opinion, was a superior player to line A because Matthews was playing with Hyman and Brown and still scored 40-odd goals in his rookie year. I honestly don't think a guy like Matthews needs a crazy good setup, man. I think that helps him. It would never not help him. I'll always say that. But I think Matthews, in my opinion, you could put him with pretty much anyone. He's scoring 40 goals. And in all honesty, Connor Brown and Hyman are kind of a good example of that. So... Uh, Hyman, yeah, Hyman the beast. Hyman, to me, I would actually say is definitely probably one of the most underappreciated players in the NHL. And whether you're a Leaf fan or not, anyone who's watched Zach Hyman play, he probably is one of the hardest working players on the ice every single game consistently. Oh, Golden, I agree with you. That's why, to me, when, when people talk about McDavid, McDavid could be with the two scrubbiest players in the NHL, and he's still going to put up crazy points. That's how you know players are elite. Crosby, the same thing. You put anyone with Crosby, they're making them. You're making them good. Uh, Rich, I would not say that anymore. No, maybe I'll give you that to you last year. I, I think people are well aware of Ryan O'Reilly now. Oh, Gallagher is a beast, too. Yeah. Gallagher is a beast. As in, I, I would love Gallagher like on the Leafs team. Gordy Hill's car. Yeah, Ryan O'Reilly, I would say, is one of the uh, most underappreciated players 
up until he won the Conn Smythe last year. Then I think it re made everyone realize how good of a player he is. Rachel, I was going to say, did you notice the uptrend on his cards? Like, significant? Or not really? Like, did his stuff double, or did his stuff just kind of creep, creep up a bit? <clears throat> really? Wow. By the way, we have two left in artifacts, folks. Two left in artifacts, and the start of the Splendor Chancers is a Bobby Orr autograph out of 24 hard sign. $19, folks. Literally 19 bucks. That is less than a pack of, let's see what's on the shelf, Trilogy, <laughs> roughly. Well, that's interesting, Rich. That's good to know, though. That's good to know. <clears throat> it's funny why his rookie stuff didn't go up that much, though. So. I understand he's not with that team, but it's kind of funny that, that you wouldn't think that, like, I would think of Spike. Rookie year is probably the most desirable, but maybe because he won the cup on the team, right? Your lucky number was taken. Well, I'm just saying that's the start of the splendors, folks. When it's a hard sign, Bobby, or think about this. That is a box that right now is $300 plus tax. Somebody's going to walk away with a very good hit for $19. And as I told you, we have some pretty badass cards coming up for Splendor. The other thing I was going to run uh, an idea, Golden, Arveligan, and a few others that obviously joined Chancers. Do you think it'd be worth trying? And I thought about this on the Splendor, just to plow through Splendor stuff for you guys. If I cut out the, uh, the number two to five items, Okay, which are not the big ones. If I cut out the two to five items and I made it something like 13 to 16 dollars, but it's winner take all, and that like and still a big splendor card. So let's say hypothetically the Bobby Orr is 15 dollars with no kickers. Is that a better alternative, potentially, or because you still get a potential pack, which is nice to get for, you know, decent value. <clears throat> but what's your guys' honest opinion? Something we should try, something we should avoid. It'd be 50, it'd have to be 50 spots. So, Matthew, most of the cards I brought in, or you're going to start noticing – most of the cards that brought in are between like two to four hundred dollars a piece, like sale value US. So, you know, after taxes, shipping, all the other cards, the packs, you have to have it at 50 spots. Well, okay, so Rich, let's take this one for example. If that Bobby Orr is $15, 50 spots with only the Bobby Orr. And that's it. Is that sell better than 19 with the four kickers? Or worse? Because I've always been told, basically, the cheaper you make it, the more people can join it. Which I agree. It is what would be better, potentially, long term for that. And artifacts look like it's getting filled, folks. Yep, 
You don't think it's not better, Matthew? Okay, it's good to know. Again, I'm not saying there's a definitive yes or no answer. I'm just kind of curious. Because normally when I set up things, I always like to ask opinions and then I kind of gauge responses. Maybe there's some new things that I didn't think about. By the way, the Bobby Orr is down to 17 left. And just so you guys know, the second the Bobby Orr filled, I'm launching a different one too. So I will say for $19 to walk away with the Bobby Orr or Quinn Hughes or a 9.5 Kirby Doc, that's pretty damn big. All right, Matt, that, that makes sense. That's a good point. You and John B. seem like you're on somewhat of the same pace, so that's good uh, Good knowledge. All right, so 921, folks. Uh, honestly, Dowser, I have no, I can't remember. We have a lot of cards. There's, I know there's a couple cut autos in there. An OV, a Stammer, a few Waz, a couple Gretzkys. There might have been another Or auto, to be honest. There might have actually been another Or auto. Well, as I said, let's keep them going, folks. The second that chance are filled, I'm posting another one for you guys. It'll be fun. And that's a 17, so it'll just take a few more people to get it finished off. All right, good luck, everyone. 921. Here we go, starting off CG break number 11,921. We've got the Artema Facts. Five box break. We've got for the Flyers, Taylor Lear, Auto Facts. We've got for the Pittsburgh Penguins, the 45, Mario Lemieux. We've got a Pittsburgh Penguins rookie redemption. Number to six ninety nine for the Minnesota Wild of Granlin. For the Maple Leafs to five ninety nine Wendell Clark. Pittsburgh Penguins Zach Aston Reese to nine ninety nine. We've got an Orum Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. For the Tampa Bay Lightning Divisional Artifacts, Nikita Kucherov. Pull tabs, yeah. So we're your outlet, eh? Why well, as I said, enjoy while you can, because the chances we got is that we got a lot of cool ones coming. A lot of cool ones I think you guys will love. But the Bobby Orr is the first big boy that we're going to do. But it keeps getting better and better, hopefully. Six ninety nine, Alex Ovechkin for the Caps. We've got a Matthews for the Maple Leafs, number to six ninety nine. We got a year one rookie sweaters, Nico Heischer. Uh Rich, honestly, that's a Dan question, not a me question. Dan deals with all the supplies. Dual jersey to 165, Brock Nelson for the Islanders. We've got a dual rookie jersey auto to 99 for the Nashville Predators, 
of Tolvanen. Dual rookie jersey auto, Tolvanen. We've got a 45 base parallel for the Canucks of Vertanen. Florida Panthers rookie redemption. And we got an Adam Gaudet to $9.99 for the Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, supply is holy moly. Talk about one of the craziest things that never expected to happen. Running out of supplies. We've got a divisional artifacts of Jamie Ben. Divisional artifacts, Jamie Ben. We've got a Minnesota Wild rookie redemption. It's like that everywhere, don't worry. 165 dual jersey, Jonathan Taves for the Hawks. Number to 699, 599, Pavel Datsuk for the Red Wings. This pack just tried to fly away. You better be good then. Troy Terry to 9.99 for the Anaheim Ducks. We got a Pittsburgh Penguins 5.99 Mario Lemieux. Uh, not yet. At the end of the night is when we do them. We've got number to 45 hike out for the Vegas Golden Knights. Vegas Golden Knights rookie. And for the Dallas Stars. Dual patch number to 15, Jamie Ben. Dual patch number to 15. Dual patch number to 15. Heike, blue shirts. Heike. We've got an Oram, Austin Matthews. We've got a God Debt to three ninety nine red rookie for the Vancouver Canucks. We've got a red base parallel of 349, Jack Eichel, the Buffalo Sabres. 349, Aho for the Carolina Hurricanes. Number to 20, Henrik Lundqvist for the Rangers. We got a wild card. If anyone wants to know who 219 is, wild card 219. Auto facts of Chandler Stevenson for the Capitals. And a dual jersey of Barzol to 125 for the Icelanders. Matthew Barzol. All right. We got a six ninety nine for the Calgary Flames, Johnny Goudreau. Batherson, thank you. We got a Vancouver Canucks five ninety nine of Pavel Bure. Forty five Barkov for the Florida Panthers. We got a Threads of Time. Evander Kane. Evander Kane for the Winter Jets. No worries, Leafs. That's a uh, holy Jesus is sexy. We've got a honored hopefuls patch and skate 
Number to 27 for the Penguins, Evgeny Malkin. Evgeny Malkin, patch, skate. Holy jeez. Beautiful card. Wow. Wow. We've got a dual jersey to 165, Dustin Brown. We got a Dallas Stars rookie uh, redemption. And we got an Andreas Johnson to three or 999 rookie for the Maple Leafs. Well, that is definitely photo worthy. So Golden, I can't remember if I told you I don't think you're around. I got uh, I got the COVID test. That was fun. That was super fun. So not as bad as I thought it'd be. All good, yes. So what ended up happening is uh I said we're always we're all number one, we're super cautioned around here. That's the first and most uh, foremost important thing. Um my son had a small fever, like literally for like less than half a day type thing. So I just took it for the team, the family team, and instead of my son getting tested, I went to go and get tested, but I figured, hey, if he's got it, I got it. I had no symptoms, so when I went there, I asked him, I said, hey, I run a business. Do I got to do anything different? Stay home. I said, do you have any symptoms? I said, no. He said, just run it. Just be careful. I said, no problem. And I got my test uh, Sunday afternoon, and it came back Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon? Wednesday afternoon. I was happy because it said positive. And I, I said, positivity is always the best thing. So I was like, yay, good for me. So there you go, guys. Right? Can't be upset being positive in life. I hope that's a good thing, right? <laughs> but no. Negativo, folks. Negativo. A few of you guys in the breaks were like, uh, boy. But yeah, so as of uh, as of Wednesday, I got my results back. It was good. Not I said not that I was necessarily surprised. <laughs> yeah. No, it was nice, though, because uh, they said nothing would be a problem, and I knew which the way we did shipping. We literally kept all the cards aside on Sunday, obviously just completely precautionary reasons. Um, and then obviously Ashley did vlog Monday, Tuesday. And then Wednesday I knew about it, so it was perfectly good. So stature was fine. But again, not that I was necessarily worried. AV that it said there's not many places I actually could get it, and I'm extremely cautionate when I am. Now you're talking other than a grocery store, but even that I do the pickup at the grocery store, right? Where they put it in the back of your trunk. So when we wash everything down, like obviously I'm not saying it's a horrible thing if you get it, you know, but yeah, everyone's a bit paranoid. Oh, did you? Wow. Hopefully it's okay for you. That is, is that, yeah, like, and, and even for me, Dean, like, obviously I'm diabetic, 
I'm only what 34 right now, so I'm not necessarily worried about me dying. It's just you don't want to pass on to anyone else who could potentially get hurt by this. That's what I care about. My dad's 63 or something like that, and he's diabetic. Like that's not, and my mom's got respiratory issues. Yeah, I, I would hate to be the cause because I'm careless out there to to pass it on to that and just have that over my head, right? Like. Hey, you know what? You just gotta be careful in the be careful in this world. So I'm happy that you're healthy and happy now, but keep yourself keep yourself healthy. Keep yourself healthy. All right, so I'm gonna get the clear cut ready to go. You know what, Dean, I will tell you, and again, this is a conversation I'm not saying in any mean fashion, but man, has the media done a good job, and I mean that sarcastically, of making, honestly, people believe that if you get, and I'm talking younger people, that if you get this, you're probably going to die. The amount of times that I've heard, or people who are young, like my age or less, like someone like even Ashley, that... You know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to die or I don't want it's it actually shows you how crazy media can get people hyped up on things that people think that this, this, this is it. Like I, this, this could be the end of me, which I said, I, I'm not a big fan of the scare tactic on that kind of stuff. I, I think it's good to have it to make sure everyone's healthy and not being stupid and careless, but it's crazy how many people think that. Here we go, 11,930, three times, one, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. RJ's got Vancouver, A. Hogan, Rangers. Corey's got Vegas, Tyler's got Dallas, Towser's got Air Minnesota. Regito's Arizona, Aaron St. Louis, Doug's got Boston, Washington, Happy Calgary, A. Hogan, Tampa, Kids Columbus, Dex got Winnipeg, Happy's Ed Money, Broussard's got New Jersey, A. Hogan, San Jose, D. Meyer, Chicago, A. Hogan, L.A. Islanders, Bank, Toronto, Dan's got Montreal, R.J. National, Benoit's got Ottawa, Doug's got Detroit, Corey's got Anaheim, Carolina, Pittsburgh, Julie's got Florida, Corey's got Philly, Al's got Colorado, Stefan's got Buffalo. And Leafs, I, I got to, obviously, you know, just for conversation and feel free, you can obviously, you know, not answer. Did you have any feelings leading up to it? Like, did you feel different the week before? Did you feel tired? Did you feel sluggish? Did you feel anything legitimately before it happened? Or did it just boom out of nowhere? And, wow. Wow. Was sanding a wall. Wow. So you weren't you weren't even there, like you weren't even doing anything to get your heart pumping really, were you? I, and obviously I don't think you were sanding a wall, to be honest, but I don't think that's something that's gonna make you like crazy sweaty and That's crazy. Two minutes left for trading. What do you mean? You should have dropped a few ago. What, what does that mean?
like dropped as in dead or dropped as in you should have had a heart attack several years ago? Oh, okay. Wow. That's crazy that you had no, like, it's weird how the body works. Eh? It just goes from, like, I wouldn't say perfectly healthy, obviously, but, like, normal, 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 and all of a sudden heart attack. That's crazy. You've had three. Are they painful, honestly? Are they exceptionally painful? Yeah. Man, in all honesty, Lee, thanks for sharing that. Thanks for being candid about it. I know sometimes uh, they are fun to talk about those kind of things. Really, wow. That's crazy. Did the, did the doctor say what was caused by that? In all honesty, is it is it just unhealthy food? Is it drinking? Is it could happen to anyone at any point? And by the way, the Bobby Orr is down to 12 left. Here's the Bobby Orr. And the Platinum is down to 10 left. So we have two breaks very, very close. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you guys want to get those going, that would be great. And Black Diamond is down to 9, by the way. Vaping, yeah. It's interesting. All right, so let's get going on the uh, breaks. And again, here's the rest of the breaks for the night if you guys want to keep them going. Golden, did you smoke before? <clears throat> Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,930. We have the clear cut seven box break. You did, wow. Were you smoking at Donkey's wedding? I don't remember that. Number to 99, Jordan Greenway. Hey, at least I don't think that's turning the night into a bad thing at all. It's more informative, and I think we all appreciate that. I think that's how I take it, and I appreciate it. Number to 65, exclusive rookie auto of McLeod for the New Jersey Devils. Oh, fair enough. Okay. McLeod, 65. I don't even think we talked that much, Gold. I don't remember talking that much that day with you. I'm sure you were also crazy busy that day, so that does make sense. And that's a big boy. We've got a rookie auto for the Flyers, Carter Hart. See, Leafs brought this on. We're talking about the heart. We get a Carter Hart. Carter Hart. 
Carter Hart. That's pretty sweet. Well, that's definitely one of the case hits. Fly away, box. Who are you got for the Anaheim Ducks? Isaac Lundstrom. Rookie auto. Isaac Lundstrom. We've got a rookie autograph, Casey Middlestad. And I'm pretty sure somebody messaged me showing me a picture of a Middlestad, so I think they're live now. And we've got for the Carolina Hurricanes a rookie debut of Andre Sveshnikov. Andre Sveshnikov. Rookie debut. For the LA Kings, Austin Wagner. Rookie auto. Austin Wagner. And bum, bum, bum. for the Islanders, Anders Lee. Here we go, folks. So sweet. All right, folks. See where we are. We got 11 left in the Bobby Orr, 9 left in the Platinum. If you guys want to keep going on those ones, got a couple. Couple to get it going. Wheels, did you do a checkout, by the way? Or did you just send, just so I know? You did? You did, did ya? Are you sure you did? Can you double check to make sure it went through? <laughs> All right, but I do have the one open live that I can do now. Tiago, are you ready?
Perfect. Good luck, my friend. Here we go. Here we go, Tiago's, and I apologize if I'm saying the name wrong, box of 1920 Spagoo. There you go, knife. Knife just flies away. It was scared to witness this. The beast mode here. We got a 275 Braden Holpe. Rainbow. We've got a 118 Carson Coolman, orange rookie. Nice. Draft Day Marks Auto, Vitaly Abramov. Number to 35. Draft Day Marks Auto. Vitaly Abramov. For number 65, rookie patch, Ryan Lindgren. Ryan Lindgren. We've got a Locker Essentials, Brady Kachuk. Brady Kachuk. And we got a Nathan McKinnon jersey. There you go, sir. Yeah, solid all around, eh? Thank you. I appreciate it. Said it wasn't too bad of a box. It's always nice. All right, let's see where we are, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, Platinum's down to seven. Chancer's down to eight. Diamond's down to eight. Showcase down to nine. All right, so give me one second. I'm going to go do the... Uh, Two boxes of Stacha. Stacha, Stacha. One second.
All right, sir, let me know when you're ready. Uh, absolutely. Wheels, absolutely. We send them all anyways. So just so you know for future. Everything in uh, in stature gets sent out. All right, good luck. Here we go. Here we go. Wheels, two box break of stature. 1920. Time to crush it. We've got a Roman Yossi base. We got a 399 rookie of Nikolai Procorcoran. Nikolai Procorcoran. 399 rookie of Alexander Texier. Texier to 399. Number to 99, Rookie Reliance Emerald, Ryan Pele. Ninety nine reliance paling. Number to twenty rookie reliance Dimitro Timoshov. Rookie reliance Dimitro Timoshov. Rookie auto Adam Fox. For the Rangers as my team, Adam Fox. Number to 20, Red Portrait, Matthew Barzel. Matthew Barzel. And another reliance of Max Jones. On box one, pretty successful in my opinion. I think we got a patch, by the way. So, Bennington base. So, that's kind of cool. We've got an Aho base. 399 Middleton. Middleton rookie. 149 Green Patrick Kane. Green base, Patrick Kane. Number to 75, Red Max Jones. Max Jones to 75. Esteemed of Marshawn and a 33 rookie patch auto, Joel Lesperance. Number to 33, Les Burles. There we go, sir. Well, you got a patch and you got a fox. No worries. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Well, let's see where we are. All right. <clears throat>
Let me see what is next. All right, so Platinum looks like it's filled, and the Chancer's got seven to go. Seven left. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We can get this rocking out. A Rangers fan? No. No. Leafs, Vegas, Colorado are my three. Those are my three. All right. And Platinum, we're just waiting on a couple orders to come in, folks. Or transfer, sorry. Which uh, they'll be in pretty quick. Ah, oh, beauty. Appreciate that, sir. Not needed, though. But it is appreciated. Well, does anyone want to get the other spots moving, by the way? Yeah, we do our best, and we appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, I think we're good now. I think it finally, uh, not finally, but it came in. All right. Okie dokie. All right, good luck. Here we go. Here we go, starting off season break 11,935. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three, copy, paste. Perp Scott, Chicago, 416 Boston, Broussard, Ed Money, Staffy, New Jersey, Steph Scott, LA, B Fry, Detroit, Hockey Fan, Minnesota, FU2, you've got Rangers, Bo Sox, Ottawa, DJ, Flo Rida, Casual, Arizona, B Fry, Dallas, Paul's got Islanders, Hands, Columbus, Igor's got Carolina, Casual's got Toronto. 
Dirk's got Winnipeg. fu 2 has got Nashville. Dr. Fire, Anaheim. Bo Sox, Buffalo. Tiger, Vancouver. Spencer, Calgary. Dr. Fire, St. Louis. Works got San Jose. Keith, Tampa. fu 2 u Colorado. Keith's got Washington. Towser, Montreal. fu 2 u Pittsburgh. Hands got Philly. Daryl, when did you send them in? Like, when did you actually ship them to them? Is a lot of people always understandably, but they get very confusing that 30 days means 30 days. It means 30 business days. So that's why I was asking when you actually shipped it. <laughs> well shipping also makes a big deal like again we've had this conversation how many times over the course of the last couple months but like we ship to our distributor items pretty much every week and they ship to us i literally shipped them a check last thursday a one day expedited shipping he still does not have it. That was last Thursday. I shipped him a one-day uh, shipment, and he still today did not receive it. So you're talking uh, six business days, you know, seven business days before potentially even gets it. Daryl, are you here or did you leave, by the way? I was trying to help you out, sir. And by the way, the chancer is down to six. So if you guys want to finally get that finished, that'd be nice. So May 27th, you shipped it out. When did they receive it? Do you know when uh, the actual date that they received it was? Is my guess is to say they got it, let's say hypothetically they got it uh, a week later. On the third, one, two, three. Yeah, basically, my guess is they got it the first or second week of June. They probably are done it, but yeah, it's COVID, man. It's crazy. Crazy what it's done. All right, eleven three nine. Sorry, eleven nine three five. So here we go. Here we go. Eleven nine three five. We've got the platinum. 
I'm guessing Daryl's on a bit of a delay. Sorry, Daryl. When you hear this, then you'll understand. <laughs> I think you're on a bit of a delay. We got a retro rookie of Slater, Cuckoo. Tampa Bay Lightning. Retro of Andrew Ladd for the Jets. Yeah, and Mark for the Dallas Stars. Retro of Carey Price for the Habs. Noah Hannafin, Marky, rookie for the Canes. Retro rookie of Fiala for the Preds. Foo, Cali, Marky, rookie for the Montreal Canadiens. Retro Van Beesbrook for the Florida Panthers. I can't imagine, Leafs, how many... Uh, how many calls can and post gets? Retro Rainbow of Andrew Ladd for the Jets. Anna McCann for the Vancouver Canucks Marky Rookie. Tracks of Giordano for the Flames. Shane Prince Marky Rookie for the Dallas Senators. Tracks Rookie of Larkin for the Red Wings. Team logos of Ben for the Dallas Stars. Dylan Larkin for the Red Wings. Team logos of Lemieux for the Penguins. Brendan Gaunt for the Vancouver Canucks. Retro rookie Jack Eichel for the Sabres. Della Rose, Marky Rookie for the Habs. Legend, legend. Don Scoy for the Sharks. We've got a Mike McCarran, Marky Rookie for the Habs. Blue Cubes of Yuri Hoodler to 75 for the Calgary Flames. Uh, well, the tracking on your packet should show that. Daryl, my guess is. We've got a gold rainbow retro Felino to 149 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Whatever your tracking number was. You should be able to look through there. Matt Murray for the Penguins. And a red prism rookie auto to 75 for the Maple Leafs. Anton Bebo. Beebs. We got a Beeb. We got a superstars of Ovechkin for the Caps. Sprong for the Penguins. Marky rookie. We got a rainbow of brass for the Boston Bruins. That's pretty sweet. We got a rainbow of Ward for the Canes. Brock McGinn for the Canes. Rainbow of Vanek for the Minnesota Wild. Olaf San Marky rookie for the Minnesota Wild. Rainbow rookie of Ehlers for the Jets. Stevenson Marky rookie for the Caps. All right. Pack down. Pack down. There wasn't corners. We've got a rainbow of Taves for the Hawks. That's kind of funny. Retro Crosby for the Penguins. Beauvillier for the Islanders. We've got a red prism of Brian Elliott to 199. Calgary Flames. We got a Matthew Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. And a red prism of Bo Horvat to 199. Retro rookie of oh, sorry, retro of Morgan Riley for the Leafs. Santini for the New Jersey Devils. Logo crest of Tavares for the Islanders. Warinski for the Blue Jackets. Marky rookie of Carlo for the Boston Bruins. We got a Fabry, the update blue rainbow retro auto for the Blues. 
Tracks of Everly for the Oilers. Provorov, Marky Rookie for the Flyers. Rainbow of Lucic for the Oilers. For the Devils, Pavel Zaka, Rookie. Retro Rookie of Leipzig for the Maple Leafs. Rainbow Rookie of Line A for the Jets. Tobias Lindbergh for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Rookie. We got a puck persona of Taylor Hall for the Devils. Platinum Phenom for the Dallas Stars of Tyler Sagan. Retro Rookie of Pulak for the Islanders. William Nylander, Marquee Rookie for the Maple Leafs. Rainbow Retro of Matheson for the Florida Panthers. Connor Brown for the Maple Leafs, Marquee Rookie. Rainbow of Pearson for the LA Kings. Sebastian Aho for the Carolina Hurricanes. Nice. Leipzig for the Maple Leafs. And we've got a rainbow rookie, Austin Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Rainbow rookie, Austin Matthews. Tracks of Taves for the Hawks. Connect me for the Philadelphia Flyers. Marky rookie. Ray, a retro rookie of VC for the Rangers. Strom for the Coyotes. And Strom for the Coyotes. All right, there we go. What is up, Jared? How you doing? Sort them this way, it'd be easier. We got a rainbow of Henry for the New Jersey Devils. Sonny Milano for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Patrick Line for the Winnipeg Jets marquee rookie. Trevor Carrick, rookie auto for the Carolina Hurricanes. Trevor Carrick. Doing good, sir. Retro of Spooner for the Boston Bruins. Chris Bigra for the Avalanche. Tracks of Horvat for the Canucks. Austin Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Can't be mad with two Matthews. Retro Rainbow Rookie of Morrissey for the Winnipeg Jets. Chitrin for the Coyotes. Marquee Rookie. Rainbow of Silverberg for the Anaheim Ducks. Schmaltz for the Chicago Blackhawks. We've got a rainbow of Matt Murray for the Penguins. Dvorak for the Coyotes. Marky Rookie. Somehow a base pack. What the heck, machine? You're killing me here. Retro of Athanasiu for the Red Wings. Pull you, Yarvi for the Oilers. Marky Rookie. Retro Rookie of VC for the Rangers. Nikita Triamkin for the Vancouver Canucks. Puck Personas of Duchesne for the Avs. Kunakol for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Rainbow Rookie of Carrick for the Canes. Freddy Gauthier for the Maple Leafs. Marky Rookie. We've got a Barzo Marky Rookie for the Islanders. Who's nets off red prism for the Caps? Matthews retro rookie for the Maple Leafs. Definitely not bad now. Platinum Phenom the Weiserman for the Red Wings. Marky rookie of Forsling for the Hawks. Rainbow McDavid for the Oilers. Matheson for the Florida Panthers. 
Trax, rookie of fashing for the Sabres. Lekkonen for the Habs. Retro rookie of Nylander for the Leafs. And that was it. There you go, folks. That's all you need. That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. All right, so let's see where we are now, folks. All right, so three left in the Chancer. That's pretty much right there, folks, if you guys want to get that one finished. Three left there. Seven in Showcase, seven in Diamond. Leaves, have a good night, sir. Keep well. So does anyone want to finish those last three off? And of course, seven in showcase, seven in diamond. That was it. Seven, seven, and two. Seven, seven, and one. Chancer is getting closer, folks. So, anyone want to finish it off now officially? All right. So, it looks like it's getting checked out. <laughs> well, as promised, just so you guys know, I said when the one fills, I'm going to launch the other one. So we got a lot of Splendor cards that are uh, super cool, super unique. All the pricings will be slightly different on them. 
So if you guys would like a shot, you know, I know this guy's not that good of a player, so I apologize, but someone named Wayne Gretzky. If you guys would like a shot at a Gretzky, yeah, it's there. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same boat. Never heard of that guy. So I am just waiting for the one transfer from Berkey. Generally, his transfer is coming pretty quickly, so I'm not too worried. So we'll wait about a few minutes, folks. And if you guys want to get the Gretzky or the Showcase or the Diamond going, more than happy, folks. More than happy to get them going for you guys. That is a solid chance. That's Solani. I hope people don't go unnoticed on that Solani one. So I think that card alone sells about 150 US. Yeah, we've picked up some pretty badass cards over the last little while. Golden, I'm pretty... Uh, I'm pretty excited. Berkey, are you able to send me like a screenshot or something? Oh, never mind. It came in. So I would have trusted you either way on that. So now we don't got to do anything. Perfect. All right, so I'm getting the random ready now, folks. All right, good luck. Volkov. Funny. Here we go. 11,936. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Oh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta do this again. My apologies, folks. Obviously, one item on the list was too big. So I made 51 spots. Which item was it? That one right there. Better, yeah. All right, three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Well, the MNT95 Kirby Doc goes to step on 25. Congratulations. The duo rookie booklet of Strom goes to Tiago. The Ovechkin. These things are really hard to find, by the way. Award winners goes to Towser. The Bobby Orr goes to Trab. Congratulations. And the Quinn Hughes to Retro Rookie. Goes to Johnny Hockey. There you go. Clear cut is done, good sir. We've already done the clear cut. Wow. 
Whoops, you won something. I like that. All right, so as I said, showcase is down to seven. Diamond is now down to five, by the way. Diamond is down to five. And if you guys want to keep chipping away at the Gretzky, I'm more than happy. More than happy. All right, so let's keep it going, folks. Let's keep it going. Seven and five left, folks. Whether you want to get them done tonight or not, that's up to you, fine folks. Seven and five. All right, so a couple more spots are getting taken. So we are chipping away, but... So who wants to grab Showcase, Diamond, or the Gretzky? Gretzky is steadily moving. Gretzky would not shock me if it fills tonight. Gretzky would not shock me if it filled tonight. All right, everyone. 
Yeah, it's not surprising. Honestly, hard sign stuff's going to be coming harder and harder to get for them, especially with players going to this bubble, whatever you want to call it. In all honesty, I, I think we always have to give or be a bit patient with upper deck on this one. This is not. This is weird times number one, and it's not like they can really. Like do much, right? Like if if they're not allowing any shipments in or anything, like I'm not saying it is. But I'm guessing like it won't be easy to get in there. Yeah. Upper deck should have pre predicted this. Come on, upper deck. So as I said, I, I I feel bad for them honestly because I know people are gonna kind of like kind of crap on them a bit, and be like, oh, of course you're pushing it back. It's like, yes, like I don't know. To me, it, it's one of those things that I feel like it's it should be common knowledge right now that anything that can go wrong could potentially go wrong. Like it's like the Edmonton Arena flooding, right? Like. Stuff's happening every single day that's random. You know, not getting autographs, who knows? Um, our Elegan, I like it. I like it. I knew about that uh, a while ago. I was I was excited for it. The only downside I'm going to tell you right now is it is going to be stupidly allocated. There was pretty much next to nothing of this produced. So we got to see. I've had probably five, ten calls already today on it. Of people asking for some. And some people are like, oh, I'll buy a case right now. I'll give you money. It's like, yeah, we don't even know what we're getting. I might not even get a case. So... It is incredibly limited, which is great. And it's got Shane Wright and uh, Lafreniere. It is going to do very well, I think. By the way, Diamond's down to four, and the Gretzky is already almost half filled. Just to throw that out there, ladies and gentlemen. So Gretzky has a outside chance of getting done tonight. I think maybe about five, ten more spots and we'll get it done. And Diamond's down to four. So if you guys want to finish off Diamond. Exactly, Rich, yeah. Well, to give you perspective, Rich, and again, you know who this man is, and you should know the weight he has in the hobby. Angelo texted me today and literally said, CHL SB Game Use is going to be severely allocated. And he obviously had many, many, many E's in severely. So when I'm uh, hearing about that, that means I will be lucky to get a very little amount. Because you got to think, in Canada, there's just under 600 stores. Right? I don't know exactly how many are getting produced on this, but I can't imagine it's crazy amount of volume. And let's say for sake of conversation, it's like 150 cases. Right? You are literally averaging... What is that? Five boxes per store? And that's if 
every store gets that amount, which some are going to get much more or not much more. Some will get more. Some will get less. Yeah, Rich, you know what? It at the end of the day, it's not really upper deck on that one. That that's that's a distributor thing. And our distributors are in all honesty, like as much as I obviously I get cut on products, I, I get treated exceptionally fairly. I, I've never ever I know some dealers kind of complain about that kind of stuff. To me, that's kind of they're mad that they didn't get the good product, but they're not they don't support everything else. I don't know, like what are you supposed to are they supposed to just give you what you want on all the good stuff and then, like, help you on the bad? Like, I don't know. To me, it's just a weird system how people think. And I can tell you, I, I deal with Angelo. You know, I get cut on quite a few things. But it's never unfair. It's very fair in terms of what the product is, how much is out there. I'm very happy with how he treats us. So, like, would I like some more of the better products? Of course. But every single store would like the same thing uh we should be getting good one yep we had a bowl of pre-sales on good one actually but that should be a fun one So, ladies and gentlemen, we have four, seven, and 26. It will be extremely hot, our Velligan. I absolutely agree with you on that. Honestly, you know what, Rich? I, I'm going to kind of go on a limb and say this. I legitimately think this is probably the hottest the entire hobby's been since the 90s. For whatever happened with COVID and the hobby, I absolutely legitimately believe this is probably the biggest burst we've ever seen in the hobby. Obviously not just, you know, hockey or basketball. I honestly think so. But what's, what's crazy, the conversations we're having right now, and I'll happily – happily bringing you in these conversations so you guys can understand so we were talking to the store today is i anticipate because of the nhl season so i was going to start a bit later this year and there might be a few months of a gap i think it's going to be pretty much a guarantee i'd be shocked if they got the autographs the photos all that stuff before these guys really skated like it'd be i would be mind blown but let's say they don't i honestly think that there will be so few products out in the marketplace because everything's going to be sold out. It is going to be, in my opinion, probably the driest the hobby has ever been. Maybe since I started. And I honestly mean that. I, I actually think there will be pretty much no products honestly left. And I'm seeing it now, like, credentials pretty much all but gone. SPX pretty much all but gone. 
That's the game used. Pretty much all but gone. Uh, Stature and Ingrained officially have sold out now. Trying to look at the shuffle we have. Buybacks. See you later. Black Diamond is pretty much gone. Artifacts is here. Sold out from our distributor. Um, trying to think what else. Like 15, 16 stuff is getting freaking pretty much damn near impossible to find. But what I mean by dry rich is that there's previous years of stuff. I've never seen it that previous years of stuff is flying off shelves, drying up, getting near impossible. Like, it's near impossible to get panini stuff. Honestly, if you asked me this six months ago, I would have told you I could get skids of panini. Skids. Uh, Blitz, it's not that I can't get stock in. The problem is the good stock. So when COVID first hit, what ended up happening is a lot of the breakers started doing very, very well in terms of volume. Now, in-store sucked, obviously because it was closed. But the problem is, is that breakers started buying a whole bunch of the older stuff, which we did too. So everything started jumping and skyrocketing in pricing and selling out instantly. Like, I would literally go and talk to, a, uh, like, one of my suppliers or whatever. And I, I, I don't remember the product, so just use it as an example. And he would be like, oh, I still got 30 cases of this. I've had this for four years. And then I would call him two weeks later and be like, Jeff, I'm down to the last two. Do you want them? I'd be like, are you kidding me? Like, how did you move it so quickly? Like, what happened to it? And, the th and we saw that on our store. There's a lot of products that I had. I'm like, oh, man, like. We have a decent amount of stock on this. And then like three weeks later is, oh man, I have to restock on this. <laughs> what did that tell you, Blitz? You're answering your own questions there. But as a, as a hobby person, I'm thrilled. As a store, I don't like it. But as a hobby person, like I love seeing the hobby kind of getting dried up. It's, it's super healthy going forward that there honestly is not going to be much product sitting in the, in on the shelf and stuff like that. Like it's, it's great for the hobby, honestly. Yeah. Who knew Jared that uh, Solani would sell it so well, eh? But Rich, as I told you, I honestly think it's going to be interesting come like November, December. I, I think a lot of stores will be very bare, which is, again, not a bad thing. But Oh, Dan, if you go on eBay, uh, there's one chance or there's two cards that are eBay ones. I pulled them. Can you just find those two cards? I think you took them back again. I think it's the OB and something else. Is there any cup breaks? That's another one that was very annoying. Literally in about three week period, okay, we have tons of cup to sold out of cup. I have to rebuy more. It's a hundred dollars a box more. Okay, we're out of cup. Holy geez, that's what the hobby is right now. It's it honestly is crazy. Like, I honestly also can't explain to you how many calls we had when we had like 15, 16 items or 16, 17 over like a two week process. It went from like one to three calls a week about, hey, do you have this? Okay, no. To literally, I'm not exaggerating, guys, 15 to 25 a week. Just. Do you have anything McDavid? Do you have anything Matthews? Do you have anything McDavid? Do you have anything Matthews? It was insane. And honestly, it's still there. Like, not as busy as it was, but man, the hobby had a cleanup. A very, very healthy cleanup. The great hobby cleanse. Uh, Matthew, 90% of those are consignment items. I would be shocked if Expo happened this year. 
to be honest. I, I think that would be a bad move. Number one, I don't even know if international or Americans can come over properly. Like, you're losing a lot of traffic revenue on that. I don't think it's the right thing to do, honestly. So my honest gut tells me there will be no expo this year. Yeah. And you know what is it with it? The other thing is I know, um, what was it, uh, National. I think it's scheduled for December. I Honestly, I'm not saying this in a rude way. I don't know what the hell the U.S. is going to do because they've they surprised me on many things and not cared on many things. Right now, that's still scheduled in Atlantic City. I would be shocked if that went, but I wouldn't be shocked if that went. Jared, I agree with that. And I'm not just saying this because of the U.S. I, I actually agree with pretty much anything. I don't. You have to control this thing. Like, you really, I don't know why people take this, I won't say lightly, but this has to get controlled. Because the longer you just let this linger and linger and linger, it ain't going to get better. And pretty much what Pete Golden said is, it's, it's like when your neighbor's, like, having a crazy party and doing a whole bunch of, like, we'll just say crazy stuff. You're not going to open the door and let that in your house. The difference is they got to control what they got to control. Like, I love Vegas, you know, as much as the next person. For them to open up Vegas to me, I was like, are you kidding me? I, I can at least understand other places. Vegas should be shut down for a very long time. That is probably, and I don't mean it in a rude, weird, or like sexual way, that is probably one of the dirtiest places you could possibly reopen. I, like, the amount of touching of the same stuff over and over and over and over again in Vegas is insane. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like as I said, there's a lot of inconvenience with this thing, but you got to be smart. Like, to me, you know what? I, I, at least this is the way I look at it. It's going to be more of an inconvenience and a longer inconvenience if you don't take it seriously. Like, even as a business, it was, I wasn't happy shutting down my store. That's not a good feeling having literally zero business for a little while in my store. But I actually, you know what? I would not have been upset if they closed door for another week or two. It probably would have helped a little more. I understand there's also the economy part of it. But I do think that was a very healthy approach. But hey, you know what? As I said, I know uh, you know where I'm at right now. It's it's been pretty good. They just did uh, mandatory masks. All that stuff I think is very healthy. I think it's good. It's inconvenient, but you know what? The sooner we can get our cases down and everyone can move on with life a little nicer, it'll make everyone feel better.
And that that's the conversation we had earlier, Sims. Is like, how does that even how is that even a thing? How are you that worked up about wearing a mask that a shooting gets involved? That I could not understand, honestly. All right, so John, I'm just waiting for your EMT. And then we can start off the Chancer. Like I said, I thought the Chancer can get going tonight. I wasn't very shocked that a Gretzky Chancer is moving that quickly. By the way, I'm a little... I'm a little surprised for $20 that a one-of-one one Iserman and a case hit Makar Auto is not moving a little faster. Again, that is a bona fide case hit out of a $1,500 case for $20. Bucks. Kind of surprises me. So if anybody wants to get going on that one. So if you guys would like to get the ball rolling because we're just waiting for the one EMT. I do apologize, folks. It will and should come in shortly, hopefully. Yeah. So we have only 30 left at 19 or what is it, 20 bucks or whatever it is. We can get that one moving once uh, it gets a few more spots taken. You guys how fast the Gretzky moved. But if you guys want anything else to go, I suggest getting your spots in. Seven, four, and 30 left. If not, then after the Gretzky, it might be the end of the evening. Just give you guys an idea. But we're just waiting on uh, the one EMT. John M., I don't know if you're in the room right now. I know you're generally pretty good, but if you're not in the room, I might have to cancel the spots. It's a downside of the EMTs, which I hate. But I do apologize, folks. We'll go from there. And it would be really sucky to leave Diamond at four left. I'm just pointing that one out, guys. Not going to lie. I feel like that's pretty sucky. Uh, just the U.S. They have a North Carolina base and they have a California base. And by the way, Showcase is down to five now. Two more spots taken in that bad boy. And I just had someone say they'll match five spots in the Makar Chancer. So just to give you guys perspective, if we can get five people matching that, That'll bring us down to 20 very quickly.
So does anyone want to do the matching game in the chancer? And we can get that one going. You take one, they take one. Could get it down very quickly, folks. It's a great time to do it. See, I hate in these situations because John M. is not in the room, and I don't know if the transfer is coming in. And I hate canceling things because I know what's going to happen is right after I do the break is when his transfer is going to pop in. It's always so frustrating. So I do apologize, folks. I really do. And by the way, showcase is down to four left. So in the meantime, if you guys wanted to, we can get that one done. So if you guys want to get that one rolling, we can. And I'm probably about five minutes away from canceling the uh, Gretzky chanter spot for the one gentleman. So that way we can move on with that if need be. We have his phone number. The problem is it's 1030. And... I feel like that's a lose-lose. I can't really just call someone's house at 1030. Because, A, if they weren't actually going to pay for it, I feel like that would, to be honest, piss them off quite a bit. And I'm calling him at night saying, hey, by the way. I've always said this to Matthew, honestly. Especially in the position that we're in, it's, it's literally always a lose-lose. Because if I cancel the spots and his spot wins, I lose. Right? If I don't cancel them, he doesn't do anything good, I lose. Because he'll want a refund and say, I, I didn't want to pay. So that's the problem. Is I know I'll give it a two more minutes. I always feel bad because, like, I understand sometimes it's not the customer's fault, sometimes it's the bank's fault. And just. Obviously, if you're not in the room and I don't see an EMT, I have to kind of move on and so much more I can do. But I will be canceling in two minutes to see you guys know. And as stated, if you guys want Diamond or the Showcase to go, they need to be filled by the time the Gretzky is done. So we are getting close. Uh, oh, that's awesome. It, I just canceled it, by the way, guys. It is first come, first serve, obviously. Whoever wants to go in the thread and grab them, I, I just, uh, yeah, I just processed it right now. Fight.
Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that Makar one starts getting some love. And I'm a little surprised on that one, honestly. So I, I understand it may not be like the most attractive or whatever. It still surprises me that a genuine case is out of a fifteen hundred dollar case that you could get for twenty bucks is slow. It is kind of random to me. So once those two payments come uh, get checked out, we should be good to go. Uh, well, cases in Series 1 and Series 2 are different. You generally get one of the, the big rookies, so a big young gun. And then clear-cut, clear-cut young guns, those are all kind of considered case hits per se. Uh, yeah, I'll say Young Gun could be considered case hits. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, again, Gretzky is filled. I'm going to do that break in about uh, two minutes. I'm just getting my uh, stuff ready. If you guys want Showcase or Diamond to go, it need to be filled by the time the Gretzky is done. So literally, you guys have about two more minutes before I kind of make this a last call on the Gretzky. Or sorry, on the uh, Showcase. It's at four left. If not, it goes tomorrow. Not a big deal. All right, so good luck, everybody. Time to do the randoms. Well, I said, let's get them filled. If I see movement and it gets filled, we'll do it. If not, it's tomorrow. Here we go, 11,937. Three times, one, two, and three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. All right, let's go down the list. The engravings goes to Steve F. Number to 100 of Hull. Congrats. The dual gold rookie redemption. Of Cody Glass goes to Nuts 99. The Gretzky goes to Tyler Rankin. Congratulations. The Solane goes to Tiger Cat out of 15. I think I'm missing one more. There it is. The McDavid goes to Caleb 26. Congrats. Sick. Congrats. And as I said, folks, there will be some really good Splendor Chanters keep them coming up. So make sure you pay attention because as you guys can see, they do go fast. They will absolutely go fast as time goes on. 
All right, so I'm going to make this kind of official last call, folks, unless anyone wants to get the ball rolling. So if not, then we have a fun Saturday planned for you guys. I got a few more breaks that are going to launch, um, which I will give you guys a heads up on. You guys will be the first to kind of grab the spots. But I'm guessing that's probably it for the night. Sorry about that. Hopefully soon you get a big boy. Hopefully soon. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll get the videos up for you folks very shortly. Um, but with that being said, have yourselves a beautiful evening. And we will see you guys tomorrow afternoon at 2.15 p.m. Eastern time. Have a good one, everyone.